Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com, and I've got a little magic lantern tutorial. Before I start, I just want to let you know that I'm, I just started reviewing, uh, testing out the Takina uh, 11 to 16 um, Zoom, so which is, looks pretty cool, and I'll have a video on that. Ooh, I just lost my son. <laughs> I bet you the exposure just changed. Um, and I also have got, um, just came in the mail, just, I mean, the guy just rang the doorbell, the Canova slider. So I'm going to be reviewing that as well. Pretty excited about that. And the, um, so what I did down in the studio, you're going to see in here in a second. I'm using my camcorder so the quality is probably, it's, yeah, it's actually not too bad. Um, and I'm testing the histogram, the uh, waveform monitor, and the, um, the zebras. So like peaking in black or peaking in white kind of thing. So check it out. Uh, in the very far back, I've got a black bed sheet. And right here, which is the, the target, what I'm focusing on is a three-way or calibration target. I forgot exactly what it's called. Got the T2i with a 50 millimeter on it. And I got Magic Lantern installed. Now, what's really interesting, let me zoom in here, is I am looking at the Magic Lantern and how it interprets this, um, which I'm zoomed all the way in to the... Uh, calibration target and I've got a histogram and I've got a waveform monitor and right here um, let's see if make sure you can see this uh, yeah see the waveform monitor see that middle magenta line and you can see how there's three spikes well you can see I'm definitely underexposed there's a couple of things wrong with this I'm underexposed and the white balance is off um, as you can see in the histogram, you've got all these different spikes and all the different colors are all over the place and they should be just three distinct spikes. But let's go ahead and take care of the, uh, the waveform monitor first by bringing up the exposure. And we'll just go ahead and increase the, um, as you can see it's going up, it's going up, and right about there, oh, right about there is where it's on the middle magenta line. You can see that the, the white is not all the way to the top and the black is not all the way to the bottom. So now the next thing we want to do is uh, go ahead and get the right white balance. Um, so if I use Magic Lantern uh, and I press this button right here and I go to Exposure, um, if I press this button you can see that um, we're at 39. One of the things I don't understand is you see how I'm keep pressing the button, it's increasing, you can see it's getting a lot warmer as the uh, white balance goes up. I can go up, but how do I go down? That's one of the things I want to know. And you're going to see it go down to a, a very blue color here in a second once it gets up to there, it's very blue. And what I'm looking for is to have these three spikes, which have now got, unfortunately, very squished to the side because of this Q auto button uh, menu is squishing the histogram, but if, yeah, I went too far. Here, let's uh, go ahead and hit the Q and see where it takes me. So it's a 2800. And actually that looks very good. That The white looks really white. And here, let's... Uh, now as you can see on the histogram right here, Actually, the, the, the automatic white balance, I think, did a great job because it's, it's you know, right on here. You can see there's three white spikes. There's one dead set in the middle, and there's the one on the left and one on the right. I'm using a neutral picture style, and the contrast is... Ah, crap. I lost one of my lights. Hold on. <laughs> oh, my halogens are going out. Anyway. So... Right here, what you see, if I, I've got three spikes and I'm on the neutral picture style, and you can see the, the, the black is not all the way to the black and the white is not peaking to the right. And that's because I'm using a neutral picture style and there's not a lot of contrast here. All right, one of the next things I wanted to test with Magic Lantern is the uh, zebras. And as you can see, what I want to do is when I'm standing where that target is, I want to make sure that that bed sheet that you see, you can see, kind of see it up there. Um, I want that bed sheet to be totally black so I don't have to do anything in post like color correct or change the contrast or change the black levels or anything like that. So with Magic Lantern if you press here and you see zebras it says right now it's off and the blacks are set to 255 which is pretty much all the way black. 
if I um, turn that on, there's two different ons. I'm still trying to get used to which one's which, but uh, I think this one's when you're recording and this one's when you're displaying. So let's give this to try. And as you can see, now with the zebras on, the the if the white was clipping, which it's not, you would see uh, reds. And then you have the blacks are set to 255. So anything that has a black level of 255, and as you can see, there's a big spike right there. Um, now that I've zoomed out a bit more on the histogram, that these are all being, hopefully, the blacks are being clipped. Um, so those should be totally um, black. So I'll go ahead and hit record on here. And uh, I'll pull it into the, and that, as you can see, when I hit record, you can actually see that um, it's still showing the zebras. So one of the questions I have for you guys is I accidentally changed the whites. You can see the whites are at 11. I will put that back down to 1. Um, I understand to change that, you go here and then you hit the Q button. See how the blacks just went to 200? And I can cycle up. But how do I change the whites? I've forgotten. I'll have to look at the manual. All right, that's all I got. Talk to you guys later. Bye.